Hello! Well, I am sat at home in front of my laptop and it's April the 2nd now, a few months since I was in Thermopylae but I realise how um, important this uh, phase of history is and how interested people are and um, how popular these videos are actually um, more, <laughs> far more than any of the other videos that I've um, uploaded so I just wanted to make one final video with some clarifications on what was really going on there because there is a lot of confusion and a lot of myth about what was happening on that day and uh, we can put these things together with maps and the videos I have recorded plus some of the photos I've taken. So this picture here you're looking at is uh, on the notice board, information board at the site. So this is next to the statue of Leonidas on the other side of the road and it shows the layout back in 480 BC. So if you can, I hope you can see it really well. Here is, let's start over here actually. This is the first gate. This is where the springs are, hot springs. This is the second gate, which is the Phokian wall, which we'll look at in a minute. This is the Greek camp. And over here, the third gate, which is Colonos Hill. This is where the sea is, obviously right next to the hill. Okay, which runs along. And these red dots over here are the, is the Persian camp. So the Persians over here, Greeks here. You've got one, two, oops, three gates. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring up a Google map and kind of lay this on top so we get an idea in real time. Interestingly, this uh, picture is from 2018. So uh, the brand brand new channel that was cut when I was there in December, it can be seen very clearly here. Okay, so going back and here again, Colonos Hill, very hard to see the Phokian wall here, it runs along here and angles off. So the Greek camp is here and these are the hot springs over here. So the first gate is somewhere around here. The second gate is the Phokian wall and the third gate is Colonos Hill. So let's just go back to this map again and there you have third gate, second gate, first gate. Okay, I hope that's clear. So basically the battle was occurring between the first gate over here and the second gate, which is the Phokian Wall. So all through here is where the battle was taking place along this plain. You can see how it funnels in narrower and narrower as you get towards the Greek camp. Now, again from the um, information board, we got the first and second day of the battle. So you got the first phase, which occurred <coughs> over here. Greeks had marched forward, Persians attacked them, lots of fighting going on. And the second phase, the Greeks, a tactical retreat. So they pulled back towards in front of the wall. And when the Persians came forward, they did a counter attack and pushed them all the way back again. <clears throat> so that was the first and second day. And in the next section we have the th third day of the battle. Here's the Phokian wall again, Colonos Hill over here. So the Greeks had pushed the Persians all the way back here again. Leonidas was killed in fierce fighting over here. And then we have the final phase, which is Colonos Hill. They were surrounded there. And that was the last stand. Now, go back to here again. If we look at, this is really important, lots of people have asked me, where's the pass, can you see the pass? And I want to clarify one mistake, that I, well not necessarily a mistake, but potentially a mistake I've made in the videos. Uh, when I've been on the hill, I've pointed out a pathway which runs uh, along this part here. You can see it quite clearly in some of the videos, but that is not the pass, it is not the route that the Persians took. The route that the Persians took is indicated by this dotted line 
which goes right behind the hill and then comes in behind Colonel's Hill. The mountain is a bit further down. So if we take that back to Google, oops. Don't know what I'm doing here. If I just zoom out, this is the pathway that can be seen in the videos, which is not the pass. And we zoom out again and Persian camp is over here. The Persians came up this pathway here. This is the mountain. They didn't come behind there. They came in front of the mountain, but also behind these hills. So they've come up somewhere through here, most likely along here, and then probably down this pathway. And as you can see, Colonos Hill is here. So they would have come behind and then attacked Colonos Hill from behind. I hope that's clear. I'm just going to bring up some photos from both my trips. This is back in October 2015. This is over near the first gate, which is where the water comes down off the mountain into the sulfur, uh, the sulfur, uh, the thermo springs, whatever you call it. Another picture there. This is a view from the hill of the wall. Here's the Phokian wall, so that's gate B. These are the channels that have been cut recently to allow the water to flow off the mountain and go towards the sea. Another version of the same. Another version of the same, slightly further back. There's the Phokian wall here. So, standing on the hill... Oh God, my arm's aching, hang on. Uh, this whole area behind this wall here and all this piece of land in front of it, this is the Greek camp. And the fighting took place on the other side of the wall on this part. In some of my first videos, I can't remember which number it is, but when I came back from the battlefield towards the hill, past the wall, so between the Phokian wall and Colonel's Hill, I, I noticed this trench here and I questioned whether it might have been a secondary defensive ditch. This is the Leonidas monument, the hill is to the right just here. It's not a defensive ditch at all. This is one of the channels that have been cut in modern times to allow the water to be released and go away from the springs and stop, from, stop it from flooding the plain. If we go back to the main map here you can see that quite clearly. This is the channel we're just talking about, okay? Here's the modern one. If I zoom right in, you can just about see the Phokian wall here. Go back to these pictures a minute. Great view of the hill there from the area where the Greeks were camped. View of the battlefield from the Greek camp. Here's the Phokian wall again, or gate B. This gives you an idea of the size of the mountain there. Now these images are pictures of the wall itself, the Phokian wall. Pretty good one, right across the top. So that's the wall on the left, this is the battlefield here. Another close-up of the wall. Again. Uh, you can see here in this picture, I don't know how it's coming out on the screen, it's a bit dark there. Uh, maybe I'll give that a miss. But you can see the pathway that cuts along. Again, that's not the pathway that the Persians took to outflank the Greeks. Another one of the wall. And another one of the wall. Close up of the wall. 
This is the modern channels again. Different angle of the wall here. A view back to the hill from the wall. So this whole area here is the Greek camp. Kolonos Hill in the background. This is the wall closest to the hill, so you get an idea of the actual construction of it. I don't know how much of it's been put back together or um, how high the wall was originally. It was probably quite high. And this gives you an idea of where the Persians outflanked, because they didn't go behind this mountain here. They came up a pathway between the mountain and this hill in front. So you hopefully should be able to see the difference in colour there. Another view of the wall. Another view of the wall. I do take a lot of photos, I must admit. And these are from my most recent trip, so December, the, the recent videos I've um, uploaded. So a nice sunny day on Christmas Day. Here's the actual channel that's been cut to release the water beautiful colour, absolutely fantastic, nice and hot. Again, this is the channel that's been cut, is what we're looking at now, and you can see how far it goes, they cut it all the way through here, and it goes off in this direction for miles, so <laughs> I'm not sure where it ends up, because the sea is very far away these days. Another picture. This is on the battlefield itself. The hot springs um, emanate over in this corner over here. There's a waterfall here. This is where the first gate was located. So all the battle was occurring here. And here again, just slightly to the left. I don't know if you can see the angle of the pass either. That's the statue of Leonidas. Different angles. It's a pretty magnificent statue. It's absolutely huge as well. I like this picture. This is a picture of Colonus Hill from the monument on the other side of the road. And it's interesting because you don't really see it. Um, this road is, is where the sea was. So the sea was right up against this hill, hence why the Persians would, were not able to pass through there. And you can see the, the, the sign right on the right hand side here that says Fortified Hill of Colonus. And then there's a pathway that comes up here. The angle doesn't look as steep as it is when you climb up it. And then the top of the hill, just in the middle of these trees here. Now, I don't know how well you can see that on the screen. Again, this is the mountain. And this is the hill that's uh, next to the battlefield. So this difference between dark and light here. This is this is the the way the Persians went between these two hills, or well, the mountain and the hill, and came right the way around this way. If I go back to the previous picture, then they came right down here around the back and then came this way somewhere towards. And there again if I took this picture two and a half thousand years ago, I'd be standing in water or swimming in water. It's right up to the edge. You've just got this very narrow pass here, which is where all the fighting took place. Okay, I hope that clears up a few things. Let's go back to this map again. So, just to one final um, word, I guess. Um, there's the hill. Greek defence is here. Here's gate B. Get, uh, the hill is gate C. Gate A over here. Or gate 1, 2 and 3. Uh, Greek camp. Persian camp over here. Battle taking place here. And obviously 
the last stand on the hill and the Persians came from behind over here somewhere. Okay, guys, I hope that is clear and informative. If you have any questions, please ask. I'll do my best to answer them. And again, I'm going to stress, I'm not an expert on this, but I have been to this place twice now and spent many, many hours there and um, done a lot of research into this. And I think what I've just explained is about as accurate and as close as we're going to get. So I hope that's uh, interesting and thanks for watching. Cheers.